Do you have any knowledge of a minuscule bug that is playing a significant part in the economic systems and culinary traditions of China? Locusts are the subject of my discussion, that is correct. Despite the fact that they are frequently considered agricultural pests, locusts are progressively becoming a promising alternative source of protein and a fast-expanding industry on their own. If you are interested in exploring the industry with me, please let me know by leaving a comment here with the number one. There has been a substantial expansion of the locust industry in China over the past few years. In the United States, there are around 100 large-scale locust farms, which are responsible for the production of more than 1,000 tons of locusts each year. This equates to approximately 500 million locusts, which is sufficient to satisfy the ever-increasing demand across the globe. The locust export market in China is growing, and some of the most important partners in this expansion include Japan, South Korea, the United States of America, and numerous nations in Southeast Asia. Locusts are not only a traditional meal in many parts of China, but they are also growing in popularity as a new trend in the culinary world internationally. High-end restaurants in Beijing and Shanghai are producing novel meals made using locusts, which combine elements of cuisine from the past with contemporary techniques. Some chefs, for instance, have developed locust sushi or locust pizza in order to lure younger customers to their restaurants. At this day and age, locusts are a meal that is served at special celebrations and is really well liked. An expanding number of preparation techniques such as deep frying, spicy marinating, or stewing are gaining popularity as a result of the distinctive flavors that they produce. Locusts are also highly valued for the nutritional content that they contain, which is another factor that contributes to their popularity in contemporary cuisine. Locusts tend to start reproducing approximately 30 days after they hatch, which is when they reach adulthood and begin to breed. In breeding places, the process of egg laying takes place in the soil or in materials that are quite specific. In order to lay their eggs, female locusts are able to drill small holes in the soil because to the particular reproductive organs that they possess. There are several occasions that a female can reproduce, and each clutch can contain anywhere from 20 to 120 eggs. The atmosphere in which eggs are laid is kept at optimal circumstances, with temperatures ranging from approximately 30 to 35 degrees Celsius and humidity levels hovering around 70%. This setting is designed to replicate the natural environment that locusts enjoy. The egg pod is covered by a gel that is secreted by female locusts after they have laid their eggs. This substance subsequently hardens, generating a protective shell that is waterproof. This barrier assists the eggs in avoiding detrimental environmental influences and provides them with the ability to survive until they are ready to hatch. This is a piece of information that I will share with you that comes from Chinese locals and is really intriguing. Due to the growing demand for high-quality locust breeds, trade-in locust eggs has the potential to generate a significant amount of profit. Farmers with specialized knowledge are aware that they are able to supply eggs to other farms, as well as educational and research laboratories. After around 10 to 15 days, the eggs hatch, and the nymphs are then moved to different regions to continue their development. On their way to becoming adult locusts, nymphs go through anywhere from five to six molts. Because of their high pace of growth, nymphs have the potential to become a source of economic supply. Their nutritional requirements are extremely high in order to facilitate the process of molting and development. In addition to their remarkable capacity to traverse great distances, adult locusts are renowned for their remarkable endurance. They have a varied food and require a diet that is rich in nutrients in order to keep their energy levels up and to support reproduction. One of their most prominent characteristics is their capacity to ingest a wide variety of plant species, which enables them to adapt to a wide range of living situations. Living it is common practice to collect locusts when they have reached approximately 35 days of age. The outcome of this stage is a significant factor in determining the overall quality and yield of the locust rearing process. China is responsible for the harvesting of millions of locusts every year, which makes a considerable contribution to the global available supply. To be more specific, this nation is responsible for the production of around 500 million locusts on an annual basis, which constitutes a significant share of the overall production of 1,000 tons of locusts worldwide. Are you astounded by the amount of insects that your body consumes? Yes, please leave a remark below. 
In order to guarantee a high level of quality for both internal consumption and export, the procedure of harvesting locusts in China is carried out with strict attention to detail. Locusts of superior quality are prepared for sale or further processing, and some of them are actually used as feed for animals. As customers become more aware of the positive effects that eating insects can have on their health and the environment, the worldwide locust business is expanding. In addition to rearing locusts in captivity, Chinese farmers also gather wild locusts in a number of different sites. Through the use of this technology, it is possible to harvest on a big scale without making major investments in breeding infrastructure. They make use of nets and other collecting instruments in order to collect locusts in a timely manner when they congregate in enormous swarms. Following the harvesting procedure, the locusts are transported to facilities for processing and packing. They undergo a cleaning procedure and are then processed into a variety of goods, including dry snacks, protein powder, and canned meals, among others. In order to maintain the integrity of the natural flavors and nutrients, the packaging process makes use of current technologies. In order to satisfy the high-end culinary expectations of consumers both in the United States and around the world, the combination of cutting-edge technology and natural ingredients results in the creation of one-of-a-kind locust products. The processing of locusts can result in the production of a wide range of products, including protein powder, canned items, and dry snacks. For the purpose of preserving nutrients and extending shelf life, the drying process is frequently utilized. In addition to having 4.77% carbohydrates, locust meat is famous for having a high protein content, which can reach up to 74.88%, and a low fat content, which is 5.25%. As a component of traditional Chinese medicine, locusts have been utilized for the treatment of a variety of ailments for thousands of years. And that wraps up our video. If you found this topic fascinating, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. Your support helps us bring more exciting and insightful videos your way. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. What surprised you the most? We'd love to hear your perspective. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.